Today I am going to share a process of getting these gorgeous circular background blur in Photoshop. If you like the content, please share, like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be updated for the next video. So for that, open the Photoshop on your device and drag and drop or import the photograph you want to edit by going to file and then open and selecting your photograph and after that just make a duplicate of the background layer by ctrl J and in this layer above select the subject of your photograph with the lasso tool or you can choose any other selection tool if you are good with it and just make a rough selection around your subject like this and now go to edit fill with this dialog box select the use as content aware and rest thing is as it is hit ok it will take some time and you will see that your subject has been removed from the photograph completely and it's now just the background so once done with this hit ctrl d from the keyboard to deselect the selection and now go to filter blur and hit the radial blur now in this radial blur dialog box let the quality be good and blur method be spin uh, you can see that uh, this in if uh, amount is increased too much there is too much happening in the background so I will let it be at uh, I think so two amount and hit ok now you can see this is quite good effect not too much and not too slightly so here it is and now just lower the opacity a little like here 50% of the above layer so that we can see the layer beneath it and now with the from the layer panel there is an icon called add a layer mask click on that and it's added as a white color new thumbnail to the layer select that particular thumbnail and go to brush tool with the black color in the foreground as black hides and white shows and set the brush properties as above and now just paint over your subject you can do it either roughly if you are happy with that or you can even go much in detail you can also increase and decrease the size of your brush that you are painting with according to the need and requirement to increase and decrease the size you can use the right rectangle bracket and the left rectangle bracket and like this I'm just painting it over the subject and you can see they are coming in light and as we, we are all doing this in not on the layer thumbnail but in the layer mask as I'm painting black the effect is getting hidden from there and we are revealing our subject which is built on the below layer so once done with it you can also control the opacity and the hardness of the effect that you have done like right now it's on 50 but anytime if I want a more hardness in the effect a more or a much low effect then I can just move it to 20 or 100 right now I think the 100 is okay for the effect to be shown so here we are with the circular bokeh style background blur and I hope this tutorial has inspired you for your next Photoshop editing adventure if you have any questions or comments just drop them down in the comment box and also please share this post with your friends and family if you like it and do like share and subscribe to my channel 
for getting more free photoshop video tutorials and hit the bell icon to never miss a video update.